All right, guys, so we just got the stove over here to the patio, the help of the Kubota, obviously. Um, we got it wrapped up kind of in a furniture blanket. We still have the hand truck underneath it. Now my dad, my lovely assistant. And I help. He did help, is going to take the hand truck, put it underneath the pallet, and then the plan is we're going to wheel the whole pallet with the stove and the hand truck over here to behind the tripod. That way it minimizes the first step. And then uh, we will just hand truck it in through the doors here. Excuse all of the mud on the doors, Louie and his muddy paws. seeing the stove we, good. it does look good right yeah. we got it on the hearth for the first time yesterday my dad and I took out this concrete cap that was uh, cemented or mortared in there and we are currently waiting for about 20 feet of 304 stainless steel flex tubing uh, for chimney liner and a couple collars and a 90 degree here and a T there. And we will have this quadrifier all hooked up. Yesterday, I went through the process of sanding it down with a wire wheel brush on my angle grinder and then polished it using three coats of stove polish. And uh, I'll post a, or I'll put a picture in the video here of what it looked like before and during the process. It, uh, it looks like a whole new stove now, right, Dad? Right? Yeah. It you saw it yesterday. My yeah. dad saw it yesterday. Clean as a whistle. It yeah. Was all grungy, like it was in storage forever. Well, I think it was in storage forever, but uh, there was a story behind the stove. I actually ended up getting it for free, trading a couple cords of firewood for it. So I guess it wasn't technically free, but Boom. it is now in our home. Sarah can't wait to light it up. Can't wait. I've been cold the last couple days, so I'm eager to get this going all right hey, Jake, well, what's that out of windowsill over there oh that looks like a little pump for a for a keg um oh. maybe that'll get some use this upcoming saturday for the party yeah do the viewers know we're having an oktoberfest party i did mention that we were having a party when we did the leaf or the the mulching video me and my dad so I, I did not mention that it was. Yeah, it's, they're calling we for sixty percent chance of rain right we can now. Use all of your prayers. Yeah, everybody cross their fingers. So I guess that means that I have to get this video edited and posted before the party, huh? You do. That way we can get all those prayers. Don't make that happen. Right. All, right. Well, all right, guys. As I mentioned before, here's the picture of what it looked like about halfway through the sanding process. Big difference there. Um, this is the stove polish that I used. Um, I worked pretty well, did about three coats of it, and this was it after I had just finished buffing it. Um, we're super excited to get it hooked up. The piping should be here in the next day or so, but that's going to wrap up this video. As always, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button, give us a big thumbs up, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.